Hello everyone, welcome to Malkesh Singh Academy. This is just Kira Singh here. Today in this video, I'm going to show you that how to make a bootable El Capitan installer drive. So for that, you're gonna need two things. First of one is your installer El Capitan a DMG file that you have to download from the official website of Apple. Second thing you're gonna need is a minimum eight gigabyte of thumb drive. So you're gonna need that. So I'm going to cover everything here step by step manner. So let's get started and if you are new to my channel here so don't forget to subscribe my channel i keep posting these kind of videos related to computers and computer science so go ahead and uh, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so let's get into this thing so first step is your download this installer drive so i'm going to open up this google chrome here so this is your this is the official website here for downloading the installer DMG file for El Capitan so you have to download this file first and uh, we are going to mount this drive and uh, we're gonna copy the application file into our application folder so just watch this and uh, go through the same process which I'm doing here so here once you downloaded this file I'm gonna copy uh, I have copied this file into my desktop here so double click on it and uh, we are going to copy the application file into our application folder so here it is just a double click on it and it is going to install into our computer here so just click on continue and uh, click on continue button so you have to go through the process here and click on install and it will ask you for your uh, password so i'm going to write my password here so after writing password click on install software and this is going to take some time and uh, I'm going to fast forward here this process here so as you can see that uh, we have uh, successfully downloaded and installed this uh, Mac OS El Capitan in installer application in our computer here so I'm going to click on close and I'm going to close that also so as also I'm going to show you that I'm using this uh, Yoshimiti here in my system and I'm going to later on in, this, in the end of this video I'm going to show you that that we have successfully installed our El Capitan in the system and uh, we have just uh, uh, what we have did here we have installed this El Capitan application in our application folder so if I click on finder and go to my application folder so it is installed here and uh, this is very important step because uh, we're gonna need that so as you can see at the bottom so this is our installer application so one thing you can do if you want to upgrade your system you can directly double click on this application and it is going to install this El Capitana onto your system but we uh, we are not going to do that because I'm going to create a installer drive for El Capitan so I can uh, do, do it for multiple systems so that is a safe site for you if you create a bootable pen drive for that so now I'm the next step is your second step that is you have to inst uh, uh, insert your thumb drive into your system so I'm going to do that so because we are going to format our pen drive in uh, Mac OS extended version so once you inserted your pen drive so it is going to appear here so now the next step is you are to you have to format your disk drive so this pen drive here so i'm going to open up disk utility so you can do by two methods either you can search from disk utility from the spotlight or you can go to the application and uh, go to the utilities you can open this disk utility from there so here it is uh, my pen drive that is 16 gigabyte of this uh, pen drive here the size of this pen drive so i'm going to erase that and uh, make sure that you have any important document or any important file into your pen drive you must take a proper backup of the, that because we are going to erase everything from this pen drive so here you, you can see the format just to click on format and uh, we are going to format it into the mac os extended journal and the name i'm going to leave it as it is untitled and click on erase so click on erase button and it is going to erase this pen drive so whatever in the data in this pen drive is going to go away so make sure you take a proper backup for, for that so once you erase this pen drive in mac os extender journal so next step is you have to click on this partition tab here so this is the button and click on this uh, partition layout and select one partition 
now you have to change the this untitled one to untitled so your uh, pen drive name and uh, partition name must be the same name so make sure mac os extender journal has been selected and if you click on this option button make sure this uh, guid guide partition table has been selected here so once you check all these uh, check boxes here click on apply and uh, click on partition button and it is going to partition this pen drive in untitled mac os extended journal so as you, as you can see that partition has been completed here now close this uh, window here now the next your last step is you have to open up your terminal so i'm going to click on spotlight and uh, type terminal here so we have to run some terminal commands here in our terminal so this is my terminal here and uh, for your uh, for your help i have provided all the uh, terminal commands in the description box so uh, these are the commands here so you have to copy all the commands so i'm going to copy it and uh, i'm going to paste it in the this terminal here so paste so here you can see if i let me zoom it a little bit here so this is a sudo command so we are going to create a installer drive by using this command in terminal so as you can see that the name of the pen drive is untitled so if somehow you have changed the name of the pen drive you have to select the same name here so untitled is the name of my pen drive so after copying and pasting this uh, sudo command here you have to press enter and it is going to ask for your uh, your password here so just type in your password so i'm typing here password and click on enter so it will start creating your uh, bootable pen drive for el capitan so it is asking you to continue type y here and press enter so it is going to raise your disk and create a bootable pen drive for you and uh, guys uh, be patient and it will take some time to uh, create this pen drive for you so i'm going to fast forward everything here so when it's finished i'm going to show you that how you can boot it from the option button by restarting your computer so let it uh, fast forward here So guys, as you can see that we have completed our creating a bootable pen drive for El Capitan. So I'm going to close this window here and I'm going to close that. So let me save this and I'm going to put it in the description box. So I'm going to write it as sudo commands and click on save. So I'm going to put it in the description box so you can use that from there. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to restart my computer and uh, I'm going to load it from my installer drive here. We have just completed here. So I'm going to restart this computer. So let me restart it and uh, I'm going to boot from that pen drive we have just created. So that is the pen drive here. So restart, I'm going to press option here. So you have to hold down this option button here from your keyboard and uh, we are going to load that uh, operating system we just from our installer drive so it's going to restart here so option key and it is going to show all the drives in which you can uh, boot from so we have created el capitan so here it is guys so mac os windows so i have created a boot a boot camp in windows and a recovery so here it is our install os x el capitan so just press enter and it is going to load your operating system this el capitan into your system so it will take some time to load up all the files from the bootable drive so here it is guys so I'm going to open up this disk utility here so you can see click on continue button and it will open up your disk utility so I'm going to show you that if you want to make a clean installation you can also do that so it, uh, it is going to wipe up all of your data here so just select this uh, Toshiba so this is my SSD hard disk here so I'm going to click on erase and it is going to erase all the data from my hard disk so if you in order to create a clean installation just from scratch so you can erase all that here but i'm not going to do that because uh, my 
MacBook is 2010 so it has only 2 GB RAM and it only supports Yosemite so I tried to install this El Capitan uh, uh, previously but it doesn't uh, didn't work for me so um, for here you can see the install OSX option here so just select that option and click on continue button and it will open up the installer window here so you can click on the continue button and you can easily install this operating system onto your system so let me wait for a few seconds so it is going to load up here this install OSX so it will create a new copy of operating system so here it is OSX L Capitan so just click on continue and click on agree so just click on agree button and it will start it will ask you to where you want to install so select the drive and click on install so that is all for this video how to create a bootable pen drive for El Capitan and how to install this operating system into your system so I hope that I have covered everything here and if you like this video don't forget to comment uh, in the comment box and uh, subscribe to my channel for the latest updates thanks a lot